We're live. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Happy Monday. I'm just setting up some music as people log on. Actually, today is going to be a little different. We've got 45 minutes, so it's going to be a little shorter. So, uh, yeah. Um, while people log on, just want to say hi. Uh, if we haven't practiced together before, hi, my name is Vanessa. We'll be doing a moto flow this morning, Vinyasa flow, 45 minutes. Hey, from Montreal. Woo -woo. Um, and what else do I have to say? Um, I want to thank you all so much for supporting Moto Yoga LA, whether this is your first or, fifth, first or 50th class. Um, we also have an online platform through our website, motoyogala.com, where you can purchase single classes, you can purchase uh, like a, like a two-week for $40 kind of thing. Um, so greatly support the, um, greatly appreciate the support if you choose to do that. Also, um, you can donate for this class on the link in the bio if you want to just donate whatever, whatever you can. Um, sweet. So we're going to get started because we only have 45 minutes. So I'd love to, um, love to get started. Let's see. I'm going to turn off commenting for now. All right. Sweet. Okay. So we're going to start in child's pose today. So sit your knees wide on the mat, your toes touch, extend your arms forward, relax your head to the mat. Start by taking some slow deep breaths. If you're just joining us, this is our first pose, you haven't missed much. <laughs> Take a deep inhale through the back of the heart. Exhale, let the hips get nice and heavy. Two more full rounds of breath here. Let the rib cage expand, exhale, out of the mouth maybe, one more full inhale, long exhale, crawl your hands towards the right side of the mat, stack the left palm on the right, breathe into the side body, inhale, exhale, anchor your left hip down, crawl your hands to center and then towards the left side of the mat, stack the right palm on the left, breathe through the right side, rib cage, inhale, Anchor the hips back and down, breath out. Take one more inhale. Last exhale here. Crawl the hands to center, breath in. Press the hips back, breath out. All right, hands and knees, tabletop. Draw your hands under your shoulders, knees under the hips. Arch the spine, look up, inhale. Exhale, round it out, push the ground away, tuck your chin. Inhale, arch your heart forward, shoulders draw back. Exhale, pull the belly button to the spine like a cat. One more inhale, arch, look up, hips up. Exhale, round, pull it in and up. You might even tent your fingers for this last one. And then come to neutral, tuck your toes and lift your knees a couple of inches off the mat to hover. So strong core, strong arms. You've got this for three. Two, and one, press your hips up and back, downward dog. Walk it out a bit, bend one knee, bend the other. Shake your head out, yes or no. Then find some stillness in your down dog. Rotate your shoulders away from the ears, spread your fingers wide, lift your hips high, full breath in. Long breath out. <sighs> come up onto your tiptoes, come forward into a high plank pose, pause. Take an inhale here. Down dog, lift your hips. Again, up onto your tiptoes, ripple forward into plank pose, pause. Take a breath in. Down dog, exhale. Last one like that, up on your tippy toes, forward plank pose, pause, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Come up onto your toes, take a walk to the top of the mat, lots of little tiptoes to get there. Once you're at the top of the mat, separate your feet wide, Grab for opposite elbows, hang, tuck your chin, rock a bit from side to side, shake the head out if you need to. <clears throat> Full breath in, release the grip, exhale, maybe shake your head out a bit there. Fingertips to the mat, heel toe your feet together to touch. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Hands to the heart center. Right, gaze down at your fingertips. Acknowledge yourself for making it to your mat today. I hope it serves you well and brings you some peace into your heart. 
Inhale, arms up, Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, bow forward and down, touch the mat. Half lift, inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back for this first one, plank. Lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, baby cobra, inhale. Exhale, press up through your knees, tabletop, downward facing dog. A few breaths here, three. Can still keep walking it out if you need to. Two, still warming up the body. Last breath. Look up at the hands, soften through the knees, step or hop forward. Long spine breath in. Exhale, bow. Arms up, reach up. Hands to your heart. Again, inhale, rise, reach. Exhale, bow forward. Long spine breath in. Hands to the mat, step back, plank. Lower chaturanga or the floor. Upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog for three. I like to keep it a little less intense for my first few flows just to get into the body. So this is a suggestion. You know, some people like to go really hard right away. That's fine too. <laughs> Take one more breath. Last breath out. Look up at the hands, soften through the knees. Step one foot and then the other. Long spine breath in. Bow forward and down. Arms up, reach up to the heart. Last one, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, bow forward. Long spine, inhale. This time, step or hop back, plank through chaturanga, go for it. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog for three. Little cracks in my neck there, two. One more breath. Let it go. Look up at your hands, soften through the knees. Exhale completely, then travel forward, you step or hop. Long spine, breath in. Bow forward, breath out. Arms up, reach up. Interlock your fingers at the top, your index finger will extend. Find length, breath in. Hands to the right, hips to the left. Stay for a moment. Lift up out of the waist, breath in. Press the hips a little further to the left, reach further to the right. Inhale to center. Opposite side, reach to the left, hips to the right. Pause for a moment, lift up out of the waist. A little deeper, press the hips, reach the arms. Inhale to center, release the grip, sit into your chair pose, Utkatasana, hips back and down. Arms reach up and back, breath in. Sit a little lower breath out, strong, strengthen through the low belly. One more breath here. Exhale, hands to the heart. Spine lengthens, breath in. Twist left elbow outside of your right thigh, press the right palm on the left. Notice your knees, try to keep them low. Lengthen, breath in. Twist, breath out, pull the belly in. One more inhale for length. Drop the hips a little lower, twist a little deeper. Keep the bend through the knees, rise up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Stay, breath out, your hips come a little lower. Lengthen the arms up and back, breath in. Hands to the heart center, breath out. Find length, inhale. Twist right elbow to the outside of the left. Press the left palm on the right. Lengthen, lengthen, breath in. Hips low, you twist right through the belly. Two knees in one line. Two more breaths. Pull the belly and twist. Drop the hips. Last breath in. Last twist, squeeze. Keep that bend through the knees. Rise up back into your Utkatasana chair pose. Hips a little lower. Lift the heart. One more breath in. Now bow forward. Exhale, touch the mat. Spine lengthens, inhale. Come through your flow. Step or hop back, plank through chaturanga. Upward facing dog when you get there. Downward facing dog, we meet. For just one full inhale. Long breath out. Whew, we, land, we made it, we landed. Lift the right leg up, breath in. Point the toe, knee to nose crunch. Kick it straight up, inhale. To the right elbow tap. Kick it up, breath in. Cross it to the left, elbow tap. Inhale to center. Knee to nose, dome your spine, step through.
press up. Onto the back toes, breath in. Step it back, plank, chaturanga when you get there. <laughs> up your facing dog. Downward facing dog for a breath in. On breath out. Other side, left leg lifts, point the toe. Knee to nose, pull it in. Kick it back, inhale. Tap the left elbow. Kick it back, breath in. Left knee to right elbow, cross under. Up to center, point the toe. Pull the knee into your nose, dome the spine, step through. Arms up, high lunge. Settle into it, bend the front knee. Lengthen through the side body, breath in. Elbows in the back knee to hover. Lengthen, inhale. Bend the back knee, press, bend the elbows. One more. And bend. Lengthen. Open up warrior two. For three breaths here. Two. And one. Look up at your hands, soften through the knees, travel forward. Spine lengthens, breath in. Bow forward, breath out. Arms up, reach up. Hands to the heart. And to your sides, Tadasana. Back into chair pose. Bend the knees, arms up, Ukatasana. Sit the hips back and down. Lift the heart, one inhale, bow forward, long spine, come through your float, plank through chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, we meet. Right, so we'll advance the flow here, lift the right leg up, breath in, point the toe, knee to nose, kick it up and back, but open the hip this time, pause, anchor the right shoulder, breath in, lift the knee, exhale, draw the knee to the right elbow, maybe even the armpit, tap. Kick it up and open the knee. Cross it under to the left elbow. A little twist there. Tap. Point the toe to center. Breath in. Draw your knee to the nose. Down the spine. Step three. Arms up. Breath in. High lunge. One press. Bend the elbows. The back knee. You got it. Lengthen. Inhale. Open up again. Warrior two. We land. Adjust your stance. Breath in. Come a little lower, breath out, shoulders right over the hips. Turn the right palm down, sit back, inhale. Stay for your breath out, straighten the right leg. Pause here for a moment, feel the stretch through the right side. Inhale, reach up and over, reach a little more. Triangle pose, right arm down, left arm high. <laughs> Press your hips back, reach your heart forward. Energy through those top fingers. Heart and hips in the same line. One more breath in. Left hand to the left hip. Look down at your right big toe. If you have a block, set it up in front of your foot. Bend your right knee. Ardha Chandrasana, half moves. You lift the left leg up. Stack your hips one right on top of the other. And if and when you're ready, you extend your left arm up. Draw your core in. Let it stabilize you. And your gaze can be nice and steady wherever it is. It can be down to the side or up. Three. Two, and one. We're gonna land back into a warrior two. So land softly, lunge fully, breath in, and breath out. Awesome, flip, turn the right palm, dance it back, inhale. Windmill your hands to the mat, exhale. Pause here for your breath in, twist, right arm lifts, breath up. Come a little deeper in the twist, inhale. Your hand to the mat, exhale. Option for a three-legged flow. So three-legged plank, three-legged chaturanga. Regular up dog feet knee. Regular downward facing dog. I see regular because in class once I had someone try to do a one-legged upward facing dog, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> All right, breath in, breath out. We got the other side. Lift the left leg up, point the toe. Draw your knee into your nose. Kick it up and open the hip for a moment. Pause, anchor the left shoulder. Open the hip, breath in. All the way to the left elbow. Tap, maybe the armpit. Lift it up and bend the knee, open the hip, inhale. Draw it to the right elbow. Twist, tap. 
to center point the toe breath in. Draw it in towards your chin and step through. Arms up, high lunge, breath in. Bend the elbows, the back knee, one press. Lengthen the back knee, the elbows, inhale. Open it up, warrior two, adjust the legs, long breath in. Come low, breath out, strong core. Turn the left palm up, lean back, inhale. Stay, breath out. Straighten the left leg, just feel that long stretch from the foot to the hand. Then inhale, reach up, reach over a little further, and then left arm down, right arm high, triangle pose. You can walk your back foot in a bit and point the toes a little towards the top of the mat. Find length, inhale, press the hips a little bit back as your heart reaches forward. Energy through your right fingers, maybe you smile. Lean your heart back a little like up dog, and you can counter that by pressing your hips closer to the side of the mat. Three, two, and one. Bring the right hand to the right hand. Hip. Again, if you have a block, it can be handy for this one. Bend the left knee. Come forward onto your left leg. Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Stack your hips. Right hip on the left. Right arm extends when you're ready. And you breathe. Strong core. Really try to open towards the side. Kick the back leg up a little higher than you think you can. Challenge yourself. Feel your muscles. Open your heart. You got it. Three. Two. And one, soften through your standing leg, step back softly, lunge deeply, warrior two, we land for your inhale. Come a little lower for your breath out. Turn the left palms up, dance it back, inhale. Exhale, windmill to the mat. Come on to the back toe, pause for a moment in your lunge, ground down through the right palm, lift the left arm up, twist. Twist a little more. Left hand to the mat, breath in. Option for your three-legged plank. The three-legged chaturanga, upward facing dog, foot lands, downward facing dog. Breath in, ha, ah, breath out, we got two more. One more inhale, one more exhale, ha. Ah. Look up at your hands, soften through the knees, travel forward. Spine lengthens, breath in, bow forward, breath out. Arms up, reach up. Left arm comes under the right eagle arm. Single or double bind. So in single bind, you grab your shoulders. Double bind, you grab your hands. Lift the elbows up, breath in. Sit the hips low, breath out. Balance on your right foot. Lift your left knee up and over. Squeeze the legs together. Try for your elbows to lift to shoulder height. And let your hips come low. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Breath in, find length. Option to round forward elbows towards your knees. It's okay if you wobble. Breath in right here. Squeeze everything a little bit deeper. Breath up. Okay, we're going to fly now. So unwrap the arms. Inhale, lift your left knee up. Thread it through. Arms to the sides. Kick, flex your left foot. Inhale, maybe you lift everything a little higher. Exhale, step back. Round down through your ankle there, your heel. Lunge into your front knee. Arms up, warrior one. Breath in. Bend the elbows, lunge a little deeper through your front knee. Awesome, arms up, breath in. Open it up, warrior two, land here for a breath in. Come low for a breath out, you need to widen your stance there. All right, turn both palms towards the sky. Bring your arms up over your head so that they're parallel. We'll turn around so you can see me. So they're parallel with one another. Lengthen through the body, breath in. Pivot 45 degrees towards the right. Breath in, maybe come a little bit lower, lunge deep, three, two, one, bring the right elbow to the right side, keep the left arm reaching up and over your head, you might walk it in a little so your knee stays right over your ankle, option to touch the mat, keep reaching over your head, look under the armpit for a little twist, one more breath in, one more breath out, use your legs to bring you back up, Land in your warrior two. Woo, turn the palms up. Inhale, straighten the front leg, hands up to meet each other. Then your hands to your heart and to your hips. So walk your feet in a little. Your feet will point towards the side of your mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hinge, bow forward, hands to the mat. Hey, 
make sure your toes and your, your toes are in one line and that they are pigeon toed in, not turned out. Crawl your hands underneath you. Fingers point in the same line as your toes. Or if you like another variation, you can take that too. But for today, I'll do this one. Draw your body weight towards your toes. Allow the head to come down. Try for 90 degrees in the arms like you're making a little box and scrub your hands a little bit to the side of the mat. Keep leaning your body weight forward as your hips lift. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Crawl your hands towards your right foot, towards the top of the mat, it should be. Find your lunge, breath in. Land your left knee to the mat, untuck the toes. Arms rise, breath in. Cactus the elbows, breath out. Arms up, inhale. Catch your left wrist, reach up and over to the right. Lengthen up a bit, breath in. Come low, lunge, deep breath out. Stay for one more breath. Last breath out. Inhale, rise to center, release the grip. Bring your hands to the inside of your foot. Lift your right arm up, breath in. Reach the right hand towards the back of the mat. Some of you will come onto your elbow or an elbow on the block. If not, bend the back leg, catch your foot, kick it open. So open the chest, your right knee might even open out to the side. Three. Steady breaths, two. And one, listen closely. Anchor the right foot to the mat if it's been open. Draw your knee in, your right shoulder to the right knee. Keep hold of the foot, pull it in. Some of you still might be on your elbows and feel the stretch in the left quad. For one more breath in, slowly release. Bring your right hand to the outer right foot. Crawl your foot to center. Shine your heart forward, breath in. Press your hips back, breath out, half splits. You can point or flex your right foot. Find length, lift a bit. Bow forward, chin towards your shin. Let's take three. Feel that stretch, two. And one. Bend your right knee, foot to the mat. Hands frame your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, lift your inner lunge, breath in. And then step your left foot in a bit. Straighten both of the legs. All ten toes point forward, pyramid pose. Lengthen, inhale, bow, exhale. Again, chin to shin. It's the same kind of feeling through the back of the right leg. Couple breaths here. Draw the right leg back, left hip squares a little bit forward. One more inhale, exhale here. All right, so crawl your fingertips a little bit in front of your right foot. Bend your right knee, come onto the right foot, standing splits, lift the left leg off the mat. Lengthen, breath in, bow, breath out, kick it up any amount. Don't worry, it's your standing splits, not anybody else's. Some of you will want to grab a hold of your leg with one or both hands. Take one more breath wherever you might be. Release the grip if you have it, bend the knee, touch the toes together to touch. Long spine, breath in. Bow forward, breath out. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Other side, you gotta do it. Right arm under the left. Find your bind, single or double. Remember, shoulders are an option. Lift the elbows up. Sit the hips back. Balance on the left leg. Bring the right leg up and over. Almost forgot there. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Lift the elbows up, breath in. So the little lower breath out. Really squeeze everything together. Breath in, lift. Exhale, elbows to your knee. Compression of all your major joints here. Breath in. Squeeze a little deeper, drop the hips. Let's do it for one more inhale. Let's stay for one more breath out. Getting ready to fly. Inhale, unwrap the arms. Arms up, right knee lifts. Exhale, thread it through. Flex the right foot, toes point down, arms to the sides. Lift the heart, breath in. Maybe everything lifts a little bit. Step back, <laughs> ground down through your heel. Lunge through the front knee, arms up, warrior one. Bend the elbows, lunge deeper, exhale. Arms up, breath in. Open it up, warrior two. Adjust your stance a little longer on the mat. Inhale, come low, breath out. Keep your legs as they are. Flip your palms up, arms up over the head, parallel with one another. Breath in, find length. Exhale, pivot towards the left. Lunge into that left knee. 
Press through the, uh, the side of your right foot as well. Three. You can do it. Maybe you come a little lower if you need more. Two. And one. Land the left elbow to the thigh. Reach the right arm up over the head. You might even gaze under your armpit. You might bring the left fingertips to the inner or outer foot. One more breath. Last twist. Look back. Use your strong legs to bring you back up. Warrior two. Land. Turn your palms up. Straighten the left leg, hands reach up to touch. Hands to the heart, breath out. Bring your hands to your hips, pivot your toes towards the other side of the mat. You might walk your feet in a little bit, but make sure that they're parallel and not turned out. Option this time to interlock the fingers behind the back, look up and bow. You don't have to take this grip if it's too much for you. You can always bring your hands back to the mat or grab hold of your ankles. Allow the crown of your head towards the mat, pull the belly in, and ignite through the quadriceps so that the back body can open. Three, two, keep the legs active, one more breath, and release your hands to the mat. Crawl your hands towards your left foot, pivot, you're in a lunge, left foot forward, breath in. Right knee to the mat, untuck the toes. Arms up, inhale. Cactus the elbows, breath out. Arms up, breath in, catch the right wrist, lift up and over to the left. Lengthen, come lower to center, release, inhale. Hands to the inside of your left foot, pause. Anchor the right hand to the mat, peel the left arm up for your twist. Reach to the back of the mat. You can always stay right there if you can't catch your foot. If not, bend the knee, catch the foot. Some of you will come to your right elbow. But this time, kick and open the chest for this round. Kick the right leg back. You might come to the edge of your left foot. Big opening through your front body. Three, two, and one. Keep hold of the foot. Left foot to the mat. Draw your knee in. Left knee to left shoulder. Some of you will keep that elbow on the mat. Pull your foot towards your thigh. Feel the quad stretch. Three, two, one. Slowly release. No slingshot of the foot. Left hand to the outer left foot. Crawl your foot to center. Heart shines forward. Inhale. Press the hips back. Breath out. Half splits. Pointer flex the foot. Lengthen your heart forward, breath in. Bow, breath out. Nice stretch through the back of the left leg. Three breaths. Bow, keep the left hip coming back, right hip a little forward. One more breath in. Last breath out here, bend the left knee. Hands frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes under the lift. Step the right foot in a little bit. So we're in here, the right ankle can be on the mat or slightly lifted. Lengthen the heart breath in, bow breath out, ooh, chin to shin. Stay here, couple breaths. Keep drawing that right hip back, left hip scissors a little bit forward. One more inhale. Maybe you bow a little deeper on your breath out. All right, then crawl your fingertips towards the top of the mat. Bend your left knee, lift the right leg up, standing splits. Your standing splits, so it might just mean kick up a little higher. Lift the heart breath in. Bow breath out, option to grab hold. Some of you will go really deep, grab hold of your leg with both hands, kick your leg up a little higher, or maybe one hand, three, two, one, bend your right knee, draw it in, step your toes together to touch. Spine lengthens, inhale. Bow forward, breath out, separate your feet, hip width, scoop up your big toes, middle and index fingers. Spine lengthens, breath in, soften the knees, bow forward, pull, lengthen, inhale, pull the belly in and pull the upper body down. One more fine length, exhale, pull forward, fold, let your head and neck relax, crown of the head towards the mat for one more breath in, one more breath out. Release that, fingertips to the mat, heel toe your feet together, arms up, reach up, hands to your heart, Whoo. and to your hips, we're standing. It always takes a moment to like recalibrate. All right, balance on the left foot, lift your right knee up. 
Catch hold of the knee. And then the big toe. If You can always keep the knee. So extend forward if you have the toe. Or out to the side with the foot. Extend the left arm. You can always have the knee instead of the foot. Lift the heart. Option to look left. Take three, two, and one. Awesome. Draw your knee forward. Inhale your arms up. Drop your right arm. Scoop up the inner right foot. Knees to touch. Lengthen, lengthen, inhale. Kick back. Dancer's pose for three. Keep your gaze lifted. Two. And one. Slowly rise. Release the foot. Arms to the sides, Tadasana, breath in, shrug the shoulders, breath out, let it go. Arms up, inhale, hands through your heart to your hips, other side, balance on the right foot, lift your left knee up, catch hold of the knee or the big toe to extend forward. Big out the toe or the knee, bring it out to the side, right arm extends. Lift the heart, breath in, option to look right. Steady breaths. Look forward. Bring the knees, the knee forward, arms up over the head, breath in. Left arm floats down, scoop up the inside of the left foot. Find length in hand. Kick it back. Keep the heart lifted, gaze lifted. Three. Keep kicking. Two. And one. Slowly rise. This time bring your right hand to the hip. Left hand to the hip. Draw your knee in and up by your tree pose. Bottom of the foot to the inner leg, hands to your heart. Ground down through the right foot, lift the heart. Any arm variations if you want to lengthen, out to the side, down around, keep it at the heart, whatever feels good. Three, two, maybe you smile for one more breath. Hands to the heart and to your hips. Draw your knee forward, bring your toes together to touch straight into the other side, right knee out to the side. Find your tree pose. Hands to your heart. Get okay, grounded through the left foot. See if you can grow your tree. Imagine your spine just getting longer and longer and longer. As you press down, you lift up and grow. Maybe your arms lift. Maybe your gaze lifts. Maybe you smile just to bring a little bit of joy into this troubled world. Three, two, and one. Bring your hands back to your heart. Hands to your hips. And draw your knee forward, toes will touch, Tadasana, arms to the side, shoulders to your ears, one shrug, let it go, breath out, awesome, inhale, arms up, reach, exhale, slowly lower, touch the mat, spine lengthens, breath in, come through your flow, lengthen through chaturanga, go for it, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog, land for your breath in, long breath out. Come forward, plank pose and pause. And you can always drop your knees to the mat or keep your knees lifted and we're gonna slowly lower five, four, three, two, the mat. Untuck the toes, hands are under your shoulders, I'm disappearing. Inhale, baby cobra, gazes down. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra. Squeeze the legs, exhale, forehead to the mat. One more little lift, baby cobra. Exhale, down. All right, inhale, baby cobra, this time hold it. Bring your hands, palms off the mat to hover. Draw your arms to the sides, palms face down, lift the legs up, squeeze them together. Option to interlock the fingers and lift a little higher. Keep your gaze down, lift the legs up. Squeeze them together, you got it. Three, two, can you come a little higher, last one, and then lower down, bring one cheek to the mat. Last, for three breaths, I'm gonna adjust the camera can see me. All right, bring your forehead back to center. This time, bend the knees and catch the outer feet. Draw your knees together to touch. Inhale, look up. Exhale, kick back. If you have your ankles, flex your feet. Maybe you come a little higher. Kick the legs up. Maybe thighs come off the mat. Keep trying to squeeze everything to the midline. Three, two, one, lower down, opposite cheek to the mat, release and breathe. Hmm. One more breath. Exhale, 
bring your forehead to the mat, hands under your shoulders, press back, child's pose. So your knees can be wide, they can be now, your arms can stay reaching forward or come back. One more breath. Last breath out here. Come to your tabletop. Then draw your knees behind your wrists. Middle of the mat. Toes touch, knees are wide on the mat. Bring your hands behind you, your fingertips will point forward. This might be where you stay, or your option is to lift the hips, tuck under and lower back to your elbows or blocks. Some of you will lower all the way to your shoulder blades. You decide what's best for you. If you do end up on your shoulder blades, just make sure your knees aren't coming up. That might mean you're going too low too soon. And also, if you do feel comfortable down there, you can bring your arms up over your head and grab for opposite elbows. For now, take some steady breaths through the front body. One more. And if you're all the way down, grab hold of your feet or ankles, rise to elbows. From elbows, we rise to seated. Take a moment, bring your knees together, bring your right hand to your heart, your left hand on top of it. Pause, breath in. Long breath out. Release the hands. Rise up onto your knees, camel pose. Knees are separated about hip width. Hands to your low back. Squeeze your shoulder blades, your elbows together. Lift the heart up, breath in. Exhale, press your hips forward. Keep lifting the heart up and over, up and over. Let it be a slow and gradual descent and pause where your body tells you. It will tell you when. Some of you will float your hands to your heels. A lot of you won't, so just listen. Keep the hands to the low back if that feels appropriate. Option to lift the chin if it feels okay. Keep your hips pressing forward. Three, two, one. Slowly rise, support your low back as you rise. And then take a seat. Right palm on your heart, left palm on your heart. Breath in. Full breath out. Relax your hands. And then take a seat. Bring your legs forward. Find your sitting bones underneath you. Grab hold of your hamstrings. Lift the heart breath in. Pivot your body weight to your hips. Point your toes. Lift the legs. Boat pose. You can flex or point your toes. Arms to the sides. Lift the heart breath in. Pull the belly in. Breath out. Lift the arms. Inhale. Hands to the right. Lift them up. Hands to the left. Up to center, frame your legs. Lift the legs, inhale. Exhale to hover, point your toe, canoe. Inhale, lift both. Exhale, canoe. Two more, breath in, lift. Exhale, lower. You've got it for one more, lift. Exhale, lower, hold, kick your feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down all the way to the mat. Let it go, lay down. Take a full inhale. Long breath out, not done quite yet. Bend your knees, touch your ankles with the tips of the fingers. Press down through the hands, make sure your feet are parallel and hips width, tuck the shoulder blades under, bridge pose. Press the hips up. You might walk one shoulder blade a little bit more and then the other and interlock your fingers, press your hips. Press your feet down as your hips lift. Keep your breath steady, three, two, one. Really slowly lower one vertebrae at a time until your hips land heavy on the mat. Let your knees come together to touch. Feet out to the side, breath in. Long breath out. Okay, we're gonna do another back bend. So it's your choice, bridge or we. So bridge, you repeat what we just did. Either way, we set it up similarly. So touch the ankles, tips of the fingers, Feet parallel, hips width. For bridge, go for it. Press down, lift. For wheel, bring your arms up over the head. Tuck your hands, palms under your shoulders. Elbows point towards the ceiling. Press down, lift up. Maybe you land on your head for a moment or all the way through. Steady breaths. Keep pressure. When you're ready to come out, be sure to tuck your chin in. Let's take two more breaths if you can. If you're ready, tuck the chin in, back of your head to the mat, slowly roll down, out of bridge, slowly release, slowly roll with meat, hips to the mat, knees to feet apart, take a breath, 
Out of the mouth, ha, all right. Hmm. You can windshield wiper your knees a little back and forth if you need to release the low back. And then come back to center, lift the right leg up, cross the right ankle, top of the left thigh, thread the needle, right arm comes through, left arm around, interlock around your thigh or your shin, and then pull it in. Draw the left knee towards the left side of the mat a bit for more of a stretch. Try to draw the leg closer to you for more of a stretch. In your deep right hip. We got it for three. Breathe deep, two. One more breath. Last little squeeze, and then release. But keep the shape of the legs. Bring your arms out to the side. Cross the right leg all the way over, like half eagle legs. Scoot your hips towards the right side of the mat. Drop your knees to the left. Left hand can come to the top of the left knee if that's okay for you. You might lift and lower your heart to square it towards the sky. Anchor the right shoulder. Option to look right and you breathe. Notice your belly rise. Notice your belly fall. One more breath in. One more breath out. Release, draw it back to center, unwrap the legs, scoot your hips back to center, other side. Lift the left leg up, left ankle, top of the right thigh, make that figure four shape. Left arm comes through, right arm around, interlock around your thigh or your shin for some more juiciness. <laughs> Breath in, exhale. Try for the right knee, a little closer to the right side of the mat, maybe even towards your right shoulder. Feel that deep left hip stretch. Breath in. Pull in. Notice if your left knee is sickling in towards you. Actively push it away from you. Three. Breathe right into the hip. Two. One more breath in. Can you squeeze a little bit more when you breathe out? Awesome. Bring your right foot to the mat. Keep the shape of the legs. Arms wing out to the side. Left leg over the right. Scoot the hips towards the left. Drop your knees to the right. Right hand on your knee if you like. Look left. Lift and lower the heart if you need to. Keep the left shoulder anchored if you can. Ooh, I feel it through my hip. <laughs> Three. Two. Last breath in. Last breath out. Release, arms to the side, draw your knees back to center, unwrap the knees, scoot your hips back to center, draw both knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. Maybe a rock side to side, maybe a circle in one direction and in the other direction. And last, almost last pose, find a happy baby if you like it, your hands to the inner or outer feet, breath in, press the knees down, breath out. Bring, bend your knees, draw your knees back in, inhale. Exhale, lend your feet to the mat, your knees are bent, your arms out to the sides, and then drop your knees out, feet together, Supta Baddha Konasana. So it's a reclined butterfly pose. You can't see my legs, but you can imagine what's going on, right? Knees out to the side. Hands, palms face up. You might tuck your shoulder blades in. Relax, back and down. Take a few breaths here. And if that pose feels amazing to you, stick with it. If you're ready for your Shavasana, go for it. Start to straighten the legs. Long on the mat. Hands, palms stay facing up. Take some smooth breaths. Maybe exhale out of the mouth. Or notice how your body feels. Really, really let go. Let your shoulders go, your face relax. The chest, the heart opens. Your back body relaxes. Imagine you can float away just a little bit.
And I encourage you all to stay in a Shavasana longer. Since this is a shorter class, take a good five minutes to lay on your back, to breathe nice and steady, to allow yourself that time for meditation. I want to thank you all so much for joining me and Moto Yoga LA. If you want to um, reach me, my Instagram is Vanessa Rose Yoga um, for any comments or questions. And thank you all so much for joining me this morning. From my heart to yours, lots of peace, love, and gratitude. Namaste. Take your time for longer classes. Check out Moto Yoga LA. And I can't wait to see you. I'm here every Monday at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific and 12 p.m. Eastern. Be safe, everyone. Lots of peace, love. Take care. Bye, Linda.